Hello, it is Thursday and the last Thursday of the year of 2020. Can you believe it? We've made it. Amen. And as usual, the purpose of our Bible study is to encourage the people of God with the word of God. Amen. And today's topic will be a delay does not necessarily mean a denial. A delay doesn't necessarily mean a denial. And we're going to talk about prayer. Prayer is an invisible weapon that gives us visible results. Amen. We're going to talk about prayer. We're going to talk about things that happens when we pray and we don't see an immediate response to our prayer, what we should be doing. We have several scriptures as usual, and we're going to take a look at them. But I'm going to start off today with us with Lazarus dying and uh, what did his sister Mary and Martha do and how they had sent for Jesus. So let's turn our Bibles to John chapter 11. And we're going to take a look at what they did when they realized that their brother was dead and how they prayed and sent for Jesus because they had enough sense to know that if the Messiah was there and if he was to come and if he was to do something, that Lazarus will be uh, made whole, right? So let's take a look at what happened. So we're going to take a look at a, a few verses. Um, and I want you all to take notes, right? Take these down, write them down and read them uh, it's in its entirety um, in your quiet time. And always tell somebody about this. So we're going to start with um, John chapter 4. And I'm going to start with looking at verse... Uh, one through four that says a man named Lazarus was sick. He lived in Bethany with his sisters, Mary and Martha. This is the Mary who later poured the expensive perfume on the Lord's feet and wiped them with her hair. Her brother Lazarus was sick. So the two sisters sent a message to Jesus telling him, Lord, your dear friend is very sick. But when Jesus heard about it, he said, Lazarus' sickness will not end in death. No, it happened for the glory of God so that the Son of God will receive glory from this. I'm going to pause here for a moment, my brothers and my sisters, and I'll tell you this. When we are praying and asking God to move in our situation, and sometimes the answer does not come immediately as we would think, Notice that God gets the glory out of the situation when we eventually get the answer, correct? God gets the glory when we grow in the area that we were weak in because of the situation. Let's continue to study. Let's go on to verse 23. Um, and we get to verse 23 and it says, now he, Jesus now finally gets to where the, the sisters are. And let's start with verse 20. When Martha got word that Judas was coming, she went to meet him. But Mary stayed in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if only you had been here, my brother would not have died. In other words, what took you so long? But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus told her, your brother will rise again. So where is our faith in our situation? Sometimes we feel that we have been forgotten by God. Sometimes we pray for a family member and they still go and we wonder why. Remember, they will rise again if they know Jesus for themselves. Amen. So all is not lost. It might be a temporary separation from this side. But glory be to God, brothers and sisters, when we get to the other side, there will be no more separation. We'll be together forevermore. Amen. Let's move on. Um, take a look at a couple more verses. Um, so we go on to where, let's where, go on to verse 32. When Mary arrived and saw Jesus, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, 
If only you have been here, my brother would have not died. Same thing that the other sister said. When Jesus saw her weep and he saw the other people wailing with her, a deep anger welled up in him. All right. So now he's seeing all this and they're not knowing or recognizing what he knows. And that's the thing, sisters and brothers, when we when we go through things, it's because we're not on the same page with God. We need to realize that he is in our past. He was in our past, is here with us in the present. And guess what? He is with us in 2021. He's already in 2021. Amen. So don't see with your physical eye. Try to see with your eye, with God, what God sees and feel what he feels. Because we go on here in verse 40 and it says, Jesus responded, didn't I tell you that you would see God's glory if you believe? Brothers and sisters, do you believe? So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, thank you for hearing me. See what he did? He thanked God for hearing before he even asked. And then he said, you always hear me, but I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here so they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out. And the dead man came out, his hands and feet bound in grave clothes, his face wrapped in a head cloth. Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. My brothers and my sisters, a delay does not necessarily mean a denial. We need to realize that God's got it all and it is for his glory. We want things now and we want it our way. Prayer is an invisible weapon that gives us visible results. Believe God, believe in faith, and trust the process. Uh, today we will be talking about prayer. We need to realize that prayer is a conversation with God. Amen. Amen. We know that he sees everything. He knows everything. And sometimes the, the pressure comes on us because he's working things out in our, our, inside of us, in our character, right? James 1, 6 and 8 says, but when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Do not waver for a person will divide loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. Such people should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Their loyalty is divided between God and the world and they are unstable in everything they do. Are you wavering when you pray or are you believing and trusting God that he heard you and that the answer is on the way? Be like Jesus. And start thanking God in advance because you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that he's going to do it. You might have to wait. Nothing happens overnight. When you plant a tree, when you put the seed in the ground, the seed has to be covered with dirt and darkness. Then it gets rain or you water it. And then it gets sunshine and then the seed would germinate. It pops up out the ground and then eventually you get a tree. But nothing happens overnight. You have to wait. So a delay doesn't necessarily mean a denial. First Thessalonians 5.17 says, pray without ceasing. Believe God and pray. Romans 12.12 12 says, Rejoice in our confident hope. Be patient in trouble and keep on praying. Philippians 4, 6 says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all that he has done. If Jesus, the son of God, could thank God ahead of time, then speak to Lazarus and have him to come out of the, of the grave. Why do we think we should just pray, throw it out there and walk away and immediately expect an answer? 
Sometimes God does respond immediately. It depends on what's going on. And it's always, always, always for his glory. Isaiah 65, 24 says, Before they call, I will answer. While they are still speaking, I will hear. So before you are calling, God is answering. And while you're speaking, he is hearing. And besides, we see in Psalms 139, it says, he knows what we're about to say before we even say it. So your prayer is just you coming in alignment and agreement with God. He knows your mind. He knows your words before you say it. So the delay is not him saying, I don't want to bless you. His delay is saying, I'm working something out in you. Can I get an amen? We need to recognize that and don't get discouraged or disheartened. Isaiah 46, 10 says, only I can tell you the future before it happens. Everything I plan will come to pass for I do whatever I wish. Because God is sovereign. He is sovereign. He created man out of nothing, out of dirt. So if he can speak the universe into being, hey, if he can raise the dead, what do you think you can ask him for that he can give on to you? Sometimes you just have to wait. Psalm 66, 18 to 19 says, If I had not confessed the sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But God did listen. He paid attention to my prayer. What is it that you need to confess in your from your heart to God? Come on now. Do your self-examination. Do you have anything in your heart that you need to confess and release to, father, to the Father God? Uh, when prayers are not answered, you're not praying in faith. You're praying for the wrong reason. You're praying out of habit, not of conviction, or you're not praying God's will. These are the four pointers mm -hmm. I want you to remember when your prayer or prayers are not answered. Our prayers need to be God-centered, not man-centered. Prayer is not about us getting our will done on the earth, but prayer is recognizing that God's will will be done in heaven. And we are to recognize a few things, that there are steps here in our delayed prayer. When you, you, you pray, you're asking, you fast, that shows that you are asking God to move and you're not afraid to come to him and fast. And faith in action is you giving God thanks in advance to responding to your prayer. We need to recognize that a delay doesn't necessarily mean a denial. And think about this, like I talked about that, that seed being buried in the dirt, in darkness, the most, uh, you think about, think about this, God does his best work in darkness because before the earth was for me was dark and void and look at what we have now. Come on, somebody, come on, somebody get this in your spirit. Mark 1 and 1 verse 35 says, Before daybreak the next morning, Jesus got up and went out to an isolated place to pray. If Jesus can go away from others to pray, we need to. One, and then we see in Luke 6, 12, one day soon after, after Jesus went up on a mountain to pray and he prayed to God all night. Have you ever pulled an all-nighter where you just prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed? We need to get back to that whole school where you just go to God and just pull an all-nighter praying and seeking God's face. Hebrews 5, 7 says, while Jesus was on earth, he offered prayers and pleadings with a loud cry and tears to the one who could rescue him from death. And God heard his prayers because of his deep reverence for God. 
We need to know with confidence beyond a shadow of a doubt that God hears our prayers. Don't get it twisted, saints. Not because you are not getting your answers immediately and not because it's not being answered the way you want it to be answered. It doesn't mean that God didn't hear it. But he hears everything like every parent, every good parent. He hears when his child cries out to him. Recognize as well that rubies, diamonds, um, you know, is, is in coal. It's in a dark black coal and has to be goes. It has to go through a process before you can get the diamond. Amen. Grapes must be crushed underfoot before you can get fine wine. Come on, somebody. Olives are pressed to release the oil. So you got to go through for the goodness that's on the inside to come out. So whenever you are in a delay situation, when you feel like you are being crushed, like diamonds from pressure, under pressure, when you feel like you are being pressed or you're in darkness or in a dark place, you are in a powerful place with God. Because when you come out, oh, you're going to be like pure gold. When you come out, you're going to have courage. And when you are right with God, there is nothing that he won't do for you. My brothers and my sisters, don't get it twisted. God is a good father, a good, good father. Amen. And he knows what's best for us. And he only gives us his best. Trust the process. A delay doesn't necessarily mean a denial. Trust the process. Romans 8, 26 to 30 says, and the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. For example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for, but the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. And the Father who knows all hearts knows what the Spirit is saying. For the Spirit leads for us believers in harmony with God's own will. The Spirit pleads for us believers in harmony with God's own will. And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. For God knew his people in advance and he chose them to become like his son so that his son would be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And having chosen them, he called them to come to him. And having called them, he gave them right standing with himself. And having given them right standing, gave them his glory. Oh, come on, somebody. Get that in your spirit. Get excited. We are in right standing with God. We have been given God glory. We have been called and chosen. So it does not matter if your prayer seems to be delayed in your answer. Know that God's working it out for your good. 1 John 5, 14 and 15 says, And we are confident that he hears us whenever we ask for anything that pleases him. And since we know he hears us when we make our request, we also know that he will give us what we ask for. God loves his children. And if you are a parent, you know what it's like when your children come to you and ask for anything, right? We see you in Samuel. I'm going to give us a quick example with, with Hannah, who she prayed for years and years and years for a child. And she asked God for a child and God finally answered and gave her Samuel. And Samuel was given back to God. Amen. So we need to realize that God is never asleep. He doesn't go to sleep on us. 
He doesn't do us like men, man does us. He is God, amen, and he loves us. A delay doesn't necessarily mean a denial, amen? Trust the process. When we're going through and we're praying, God knows and he hears, just like we just read in scripture, amen? And that, and that Romans confirmation, amen? Make sure you share this with your friends and family. Let everyone know that continuing to pray and don't look to the left or to the right. Look straight ahead to God and knows that he hears and that he's answering. While we are yet still praying, God is hearing and answering. Don't get it twisted. The, del the delay does not mean denial. Amen. And with that being said, I'm going to go to those that we're praying for. Please send me a name if you have anyone you want me to add to the list. As we pray for our brothers and sisters, amen, God is able to keep us and we will always continue to pray for Lydia, Ayana, Emmett, Starlet, Giovanni, check of her family, Corey, Jordan, Cassandra Graves, Georgette, Norma Reed, Anthony Walker, Julian Walker and family, Elijah Echo, Don Cosby, Lee McGee, Mar Maria Rice, Patrick Linton, Deacon Isabel Roberts, we have two James, Lorraine Rogers, Beverly Davis, Grace Appleby, Michael Moore, Bianca Appleby, Mario French, Romario French, Pastor T, Leonie Walker, Tracy Cisco, Lee Mullins, Ma Marlene Franklin Brown, Donna, Jean Co uh, Goldsby, Wright Chapel for Carolyn Charles, Elvis, Celia Nash III, Ashley family, Francisco Harris family, Regina and Philbert, Le Linda McCall, Lucinda Downer, Paulette Redwood, Doral Anderson, in the Grant, Grant family, Lloyd Shackelford, Moore family, Michael, Yvonne, Denise, Malcolm, Head, Ogan, and Harry Durham. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, Father, for all that you are allowing our ears to hear and our hearts to receive. We thank you for your word. We thank you for direction. We thank you for, for faith. We thank you for belief. I pray, Father God, for everyone that I just mentioned, Lord God. You know that what we all need. I lay them at your feet, Lord God. I thank you for how you're moving even now, Father. We just worship you right now, God, in spirit and in truth. We take nothing back, Lord God. We pray for job openings. We pray for places to live. We pray for healing of our bodies and our minds. We bind addictions, Lord God, whether it be to drugs, to cigarette, to alcohol, to pornography. We pray, God, that you give us clean hands and clean hearts as we move into 2021. New creatures, Lord God. We thank you for your love for us. We thank you for answered prayers in the past, answered prayers right now, and answered prayers in the future. Thank you for all the examples that we have in the word to encourage us and to strengthen us and to give us what we need. We look to you, Father God, the author and the finisher of our faith, our wheel in the middle of the wheel, our light in the darkness. Father God, you are our creator. You are El Shaddai, Lord God. We thank you for how you have moved right now, Lord God, over every situation. We pray for this country. We pray for those grieving the loss of a loved one. We praise, pray for those is in every kind of illness that they will be healed in the matchless name of Jesus. We thank you for what you're doing for us. Bless now your people, Lord God, and we thank you in Jesus' holy and righteous name we pray. And we say amen, amen, and amen. God bless you, children of God. Happy New Year. I will be with you again next Thursday in the new year. Be blessed and know that God is able to keep you. He did last year and the year before, and he will do that in 2021. A delay is not necessarily a denial. I love you. See you next year. Bye-bye.